Welcome to Embracing Mattress. This is Renee. This is the weekly love reading for the sign of Aquarius. I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you to anyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. Hit the notification bell. If you purchased a reading with me, I do appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you to the people that sent the donation. Thank you to anyone that sent me a question, an email. Thank you to the people that leave the positive messages down below for me. I do appreciate that as well. Um, <clears throat> this energy could be masculine or feminine. This could be about you, the person you're thinking of, or your cross watcher. Cross watcher, if this is you uh, coming here and you do not have Aquarius in your chart or anyone with Aquarius um, around you, this is a uh, spirit telling you that you probably have a message that you need to hear as well. Or it could be that Aquarius is in your chart and you're not, not familiar with that, okay? So take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? So let's get moving. I see a children's card. Your love life is being affected by children, okay? And with that, I see you deserve love. You are lovable. Now, either this is someone from your past, someone from your childhood that we're thinking of. This could be someone that you've known a very long time. Uh, this could be someone that you have children with. Um, this could be someone that has children with someone else. Um, this could be something where the union is not moving forward because children are involved in some way. Spirit says you, you, um, you not only are lovable, but true love is coming towards you. This is the romance of a lifetime. And forgiven and learning as you release and heal the past, which would be this situation over here. Um, <clears throat> you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. You, I believe that this, someone's identifying with a mature woman here and the community. We'll get to those in a minute. Now, now there's some sort of disruption that happened in this relationship that caused it to not, uh, go forward. Um, there could have been text messages, love letters, etc., et email, something that was going back and forth to indicate this, or either they will be. There's a communion, social companionship. Someone wants to spend time with you, Aquarius. Someone wants to, to, to be with you in a social setting um, because they feel like they have unfinished business with you. So the message that you may re be receiving is that someone wants to see you. Someone wants to go out. Um, social distancing is still happening, but be mindful that someone wants to get in touch with you and give you an offer of, you know, maybe dinner, something of that nature when the world opens back up. This is going to be a, a new chapter, new development. Again, this person feels like it's unfinished business between you and them. They want to offer you a, a stable, solid foundation with the spirit of the anchor. Um, this is their first attempt at it okay we also have the journey relocation and moving on cards this person wants to come towards you and offer you this that means that they're moving away from someone else or something else okay they're coming towards you they're pretty fixated on it all right they're pretty fixated on moving towards you they've been medicating themselves up into now alcohol drugs what have you sex porn have you just trying to kill the feelings that they were feeling, the faithlessness. They didn't have faith that you would even speak to them anymore, that you would want to be around them anymore. Okay. Now, if this is resonating on the other side, you guys just take the energy and put it where it needs to go. Okay. And this is going to be shocking for you, Aquarius, or, or, or your cross watcher, whomever, because up to this point, you've been very, very guarded because the person was really irresponsible. That person has been guarded as well. But I see this butterfly card, which means that they may be going through some sort of transformation within because they do realize that they were irresponsible. And this card here shows me that someone was irresponsible and could have been married or in a committed relationship. And they were being irresponsible with you and irresponsible with that relationship as well. Now, we have the cards at the bottom. Okay, we got the uh, couple major arcana. Two, two major arcana, the rest are minor arcana, but we're going to talk about it. Now we have the moon card. You know how I feel about the moon card. That's 
um, that secrets, that's, that's deception, that's lies, that's things that you don't know about that have been moving in the dark, okay? Everything that happens in the dark comes to light. Absolutely, okay? And you may have been feeling this intuitively, okay? Because this is you or this is them. Sitting in your feelings, worried, stressful, you know, um, I do believe if this is for the cross watcher or the person that you're thinking of, they are sitting up late at night because they know that they can only come towards you if they tell you the truth and they don't want to. And if this is for you, Aquarius, you're sitting up at night wondering what's going on because you feel intuitively that something was going on. You may can't pinpoint it, but you know, there's some fuckery here. Okay. This person is trying to come towards you and offer reciprocation. But the reciprocation is, is like on some fuck shit, okay? They want to offer you, and you can see that they're still offering other people, all right? But this Knight of Wands card is really, to me, is weak. You know, they're not offering the stability that they, they say that they want to offer up here. They may be talking a good game to you. Okay, they're definitely moving out of, 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 of rough times with someone else. They're moving towards you because they believe that, you you know, you're, they're, this is my wife, happy wife, happy person, a beautiful nurturer, mother, such and such. Okay, now this can go one of two ways. They may be moving away from a person that they've gotten pregnant to try to come towards you. I do feel that somebody could be pregnant at this time. Spirit is saying that you, Aquarius, have went through all of your lessons. You have completed the cycle. All right? And what's going to happen is somebody somebody's going to come towards you and offer love with this Page of Cups card. Okay? <laughs> but I see you here with it. I see you as looking at your ships coming in looking at things going well in your life and you remaining single at this time because you're not for the fuckery and you don't want to be bothered. And this could be, like I said, the same person coming towards you, but they're not coming towards you with something stable at this time. They're coming towards you trying to feed you that BS of what they would want to have with you, but I don't see that this is happening uh, because you, you're shutting it down, Aquarius. You are, Okay. Based on however this person has treated you, I see that you are standing up for yourself and you're choosing to remain single because you are prosperous alone. Okay, with this uh, mature woman card, I had to read about it. She is a female relative, such as a grandmother, mother, stepmother, mother-in-law, aunts, godmothers, etc. Okay? This person is a problem, whoever it is. So there could be a mother or aunt or, or someone on, on that has something to do with this union for either you or your person that is causing issues and giving their two cents in this relationship when it's not their fucking business. They're causing nothing but issues because someone here feels like they have to listen to that person. I'm really feeling like this is someone's mother. Someone's mother won't shut the hell up. And I'm sorry for saying that, but this is just the way I'm feeling. This is why our men won't stand up and be men. Because their mothers won't allow them to be. And this is a, I feel like this is someone's mother that's meddling, that just wants their, their son to do whatever. I feel like it's a son. I feel like this is a mother that's causing doubt in, in a male's mind. 
And this is everyone that you have a connection to. So not only is the mother talking shit, the mother is talking shit to a family or, or this could be the person that you're thinking of. People are talking about this union that you're trying to get away from and they want you to remain in it. But you don't want to be in it, Aquarius, or, or your person doesn't want to remain in it. They want to move towards, okay, so this is what I'm saying. There's currently a union where children are involved and where children, um, either someone's pregnant, someone has children with someone, okay? Um, but you deserve love indicates to me that there's no love in this union. There's no, um, there's no bond. There's no passion because someone here wants true love and, 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 um, romance from someone else with this true love card so that tells me that over here in this relationship there's nothing going on but this is the relationship that people want to keep someone tied to and someone doesn't want to be tied to this relationship anymore and they want to move forward and give someone the person that they're thinking of that they consider to be their true love they want to give them an a a, a offer of coming towards them um of offering stability of, of yes this is unfinished business between you and I we got interrupted because someone came in, in between us type of thing and they want to move towards you they're fixated on it they're medicating on it right but they feel like it's not going to work out because of how they've treated you in the past all right but I see right here this is my reciprocation card I see that even though this person is in their head about what they did to you how they treated you you're also in your head about the things that you don't know about they're not moving towards you with stability. They're moving towards you really in a way of just on some fuck shit. That's what I'm seeing. Um, and, you know, it could be that the person doesn't know how to come towards you. And that's what they'll start off with. Because if that's what was working in the past with you, that's where they want to start. Because, hey, we always had a good sexual relationship. If I come and approach like this, then maybe this will work. And then maybe I can come towards them totally. But I see that somebody here is leaving someone that may be pregnant or someone that they had a, a stable home with. Ending a cycle. And want to offer love to someone else. But I see someone rejecting that offer. Okay, this person could be that's coming towards you could have Scorpio or Sagittarius in their, in their chart. Ambitious, passionate, hasty. Okay, they like to do things quickly. Very unreliable. A butterfly personality. Okay, someone that this has, hey, I'm going to do this and then doesn't think about the repercussion after. That's what I'm seeing. With the moon, um, I believe that that could be a... Pisces person or someone with Pisces in their chart. Um, the world card. Um, that's just Saturn. And that's basically pers perspective, right? This is you ending this. This is you going forward. Again, there's a moon in one, two, three, four of these pictures. There's a lot of stuff here that you do not know about that is going on. All right. With this, you do also have the confidence card. Okay, let's read about this message. There's one such immoral being who has kept this oracle safe in a castle in the Isle of I to be given to you when the time is right. The time in that to ugh, the time is now, excuse me. This is your time. The world needs you. Much is going to be asked of you as you move through your life's challenges and receive my gifts. Know that I have chosen you. This is spirit talking to you, Aquarius, and that you have everything you need to make the right decision. Walk with your head held high and take the next step toward your goal with confidence. I will be with you every step of the way. Spirit is telling you, listen, that you have the confidence to go forward in your life to have the things the way that you want them to be. Yes, you'll still be single for some time. But you don't have to deal with this fuckery. And spirit is telling you to trust that everything is going to be okay. All right, Aquarius, this has been your message for the week. Uh, send in love and light to all. Okay, you guys take care.